Welcome to this video where we'll be looking at the use of Connectrix wireless motion sensor and mesh network with our USB gateway product for Node.js. In this video we'll be demonstrating how to use our motion sensor and Node.js gateway module to detect movement in an area and send notifications to the popular Slack messaging application. Connectric provides an easy to use SDK for Node.js which allows developers to get up and running with our sensors very quickly with minimal coding. The SDK runs on macOS, Windows and popular Linux distributions including Raspbian for the Raspberry Pi. Our software is available for install from the popular NPM package manager. To get started simply require the package then call the run gateway method passing it an onSensor message callback function. This function will be invoked every time a message is received from the mesh network and will receive a JSON object containing details of that message. In this example we'll be using a Connectric USB router which we'll plug into a laptop and the Connectric wireless motion sensor. We'll also need to do some setup on Slack. First, let's review the messages that our callback function can receive. Each sensor has a distinct type of JSON message with its own payload. However, all sensors provide some common keys such as the timestamp, the sensor ID, a sequence number and a type key indicating what sort of sensor it is. In this case, we're looking for a motion message. The motion message's payload contains two keys one telling us that movement was detected in the monitored area, the other one giving us an idea of the sensor's remaining battery voltage. Now let's configure Slack for our demo. We'll begin by adding a new channel for our notifications to arrive in. Next we add an app integration to that channel. This takes us to the Slack website where we can manage our integrations and create a new webhook integration. Here we'll choose the channel that we wish the integration to post to and then follow the setup instructions, noting the webhook URL as we'll need this later. We can add a label so our integration shows up nicely in the list of integrations. And then set a custom name so that the uh, poster in Slack appears to be Connectric. Additionally, we'll upload an icon so that our posting bot has a profile picture. Now we can save our settings. and return to the Slack app where we see that a new integration has been added to the channel. Now we'll go ahead and create a new NPM project. Start with NPM init and accept all of the defaults except for entry point where we'll use server.js. This gives us a standard package.json file and we can now install our dependencies which are the Connectric USB Gateway module, and also a helper module that makes it easier to work with the Slack API in Node.js.
we can now copy an example server.js file from the Connectric USB Gateways examples folder into our project. Now let's take a look at the contents of that. Here the callback function reacts to motion events and sends a message to Slack when one occurs. To avoid flooding Slack notifications, the code only sends a second alert after a configurable time has passed. The code uses environment variables for configuration. Slack webhook URL should be set to the URL that Slack created for us when we set up our app integration. Motion reporting channel is the name of the Slack channel that we want notifications to appear in. A motion reporting interval is the minimum elapsed time in seconds between motion notifications being sent to Slack. At line 18, we configure the node Slack module to use our webhook URL. The application logic begins at line 20, where we open the Connectric gateway and specify how we want to handle sensor messages in an on sensor message callback function. This function is called whenever a message is received from a sensor over the mesh network. At line 22, we check to see if we got a motion message and whether that message was received after enough time had passed since the last one. If so, we build up a message body for Slack at line 23 and use the sensor ID property to identify which sensor fired. At line 26, we update the last time that we sent a notification to Slack with the timestamp from the sensor message. Then at line 28, we use the Slack node module to send that message to Slack, setting an icon and a display name for it. Let's start it up and try it out now. We start it with the standard npm start command and then insert the USB router into the computer. The code detects the router, begins to listen for messages. We can now wave our hand over the motion sensor to create some movement. Then we'll see the Slack notification get fired into Slack via our webhook. As we can see, the message has appeared in Slack and we know which sensor it came from. In this video, we've demonstrated the ease with which you can integrate the Connectric gateway and sensor product into other platforms. We hope that you found this useful and thank you for watching. If you'd like to get in touch with us, please email solutions at connectric.com or visit our website.